Hello, just thought I'd make a quick video just to recap some of the data file management problems you may be experiencing. If you're struggling and you're seeing a red explanation mark in your ArcMap project, then perhaps I can help you with this video. Okay, so we're going to just recap uh, where we were at the end of the session. So, at the end of the session, hopefully you had all your data files in one folder called Assessment 1, and that would have been in a path looked like this. So let's just copy that so we know where we are. Maybe you had this in your um, in your diary uh, or workbook or learning journal, whatever you want to call it, so that you can you know where you're working from. Like I was saying in the lecture, ArcMap uh, recognizes where these files are stored and um, we need to make sure that when we um, are working from um, a uh, project that we are res restore those paths. So probably what you did at the end of the practical was you uploaded that uh, onto your uh, OneDrive. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you've got your file on OneDrive and probably the next thing you want to do is come to a uh, independent support session or the next practical and you think, right, I'm going to crack on with what I'm doing. So what you do is you go ahead and you uh, download uh, that zip file. Now, uh, it might default to a, um, in my case, a download um, directory, and that's not where you want to be working from. So once this is uh, finished, we can um, copy or cut it to a different location. So here, actually, for me, it's given it's given it an extra one underneath it. Now that's because I'd previously downloaded the zip file, and uh, it never overwrites when you download multiple files of the same name. So let's just make sure we're using the latest file, which is today's date, twenty eighth of September. So I'm going to cut that, and what I can just do is rename it um, once um, I've copied it to where I want it to go. So we are working C local data and your username. Uh, you'll notice that this is empty because we might be working on a different computer. Um, hopefully you deleted your um, files after you um, after you finished working on the computer in the practical. So there we go. We, we've got our assess one zip file. Uh, we now need to extract that to this current folder. The, the important thing to do is to delete that because we do not want to create an additional subfolder. Uh, that will then happy days. We're back in assessment one. Our path is the same as what we were working on last week. All good. So you may have not, you may not have that path, which uh, you may have done something wrong. So let's go through a common mistake that you might have done. Uh, let's go uh, extract all and let's not change that. And we'll see what happens. So now you'll see that we've got assessment one, but it's created the subdirectory. So our path is no longer the same as what it was. We've got this extra assessment one folder within the path. Now this will cause a problem for our map because it'll be like none of these files are where they where you they were previously. They're now in a new subdirectory. It's really easy to um, to move your files around. What I suggest you do is if you want to move individual files, then definitely use our catalog because you see a lot of these are like hidden files. Um, whereas if they're in, contained within a folder, then you can just go ahead and um, you can um, you can cut or copy and paste um, individual folders. Now we won't be able to paste it to here because there's already a file with a um, assessment one name. So let's just rename that, and then we'll cut this directory into the path that we want. So now we've got that. We can delete the one we renamed, and all our files are there in the directory order that we had in the previous practical. Now, hopefully this is useful for you. Um, if it's just patronizing and you've done it before, then hopefully you're not still watching this video. So uh, I'll see you in the next lecture. Cheers, guys.